Now imagine seeing a babe on your timeline whose install looks too good, but she's gatekeeping. Or imagine seeing a babe on your timeline with a fire install and immediately you need to know everything she used for that install. Hello my beautiful babes and welcome back to my channel. I've done all the research for you and I know how to body a good install myself. You know like some may say I have street cred. And I'm here to give you a checklist for next time we go to Bean Supply on the 10 most essential products for a perfect install. However, however, however. This is not a step-by-step -step video, but rather just shining a spotlight on the irreplaceable products that will always make a difference on your installs. If you do want a step-by-step -step video, got one linked down below, probably got one linked somewhere up in the eye or the, the little key card or whatever. Check them out because I really go in detail. But here I'm just gonna show you the products that I feel and know make a difference on any install that I do. And these products are irreplaceable. These products are here to stay. If you don't use them on your installs, it's very noticeable. Okay, now unless you're trying to pull yourself a little white boy, if that's your prerogative, that's your business. But if you want a body and install to give scalp like such, then let's dive into these products. Aside from everything else that I'll mention in this video, none of these products will work according to plan unless you have a really good wig. As for me, I really love Wiggins hair and this is their, I believe like 10 inch or like 12 inch bob. All the details will be down below. I've had a few of their wigs now and, and each and every single time, not only do I love their hair itself, but I also always love the structure of their wigs and the way it's designed. And believe it or not, I did not have to cut this wig myself. It came like this and it's absolutely perfect like i'm a recovering undercover over lover First and very important step is lace foundation. This is a crucial step in preparing your wig to have a more natural look and a seamless and unclockable lace for your wig. Now, I've seen some girlies use just straight foundation. I've seen some people use foundation mixed with alcohol or fast drying blend. Or more commonly, I've seen a lot of people using like the aerosol lace sprays or lace sprays that come in a little bottle, whether it's homemade, whether it's vendor made. But as for me, I've stuck to one thing and that is this Ruby Kisses cream foundation. Pretty sure this is supposed to be for your face, but I don't really trust complexion products from Ruby's Life Store on my face but it does however work really really well on my lace and lace foundations or lace sprays typically come in like a flesh toned shade and it's applied along the hairline before the wig is installed and this just helps create that illusion that the hair is growing directly from your scalp and you know it doesn't look like there's just a wig sitting on top of your head you know i basically just apply this all along the hairline both on the inside of the wig and on top or really seamless blend and then i spray it all down with some holding spray the next important product is a wig cap now wig caps can be used in two different ways its main priority is really just to keep your natural hair tucked away and it provides a smooth base for your wig to sit on top of. It also serves as a protective layer between your hair and the wig. And wig caps come in a variety of flesh tone materials but my personal top picks always include something that is of a thinner material. HD wig caps are really good for that but as for me if you watch my previous videos then you guys know that I really really love using pantyhose. Not only do you have more options to pick from as far as skin tone, material, sturdiness, durability, all of that. It also just works better for me. I feel like it's a lot stronger. I get more for my money and I don't have like just three shades to pick from. And I also don't have to do a lot of work to get it to blend into my skin, which I find I have to do with some wig caps. One way of wearing a wig cap is simply just throwing it on your head and throwing your wig on top. Like I said, it does serve as a protective layer, but another way is by doing a bald cap method. If you ask me, I don't really wear a wig cap. I don't find that to be a bad thing at all. Yeah, it works for me. I don't really have to wear one, but a lot of people do have to, especially if you have more hair that you want to tuck away. As for me, I really don't need it. As you can see, my wig looks really great and I don't wear with it. So for my girls with lower hairlines but still really love frontals using the bald cap method or wig cap by itself is very beneficial in protecting your edges next item or product on the list is argan oil or just hairspray or hair oil oil sprays are very essential products for maintaining the health and shine of your wig it nourishes your hair strands it prevents dryness and breakage and it just adds a silky finish to your overall look my go-to's at the moment are the bio silk the chi serum but a cheaper alternative that i found is the moroccan argan oil and i really love 
the spray version as opposed to the pump because it distributes this product very well all across the hair without using too much product. If you're not using a styling wax, honey, you don't gotta tell us. We can tell, okay? A styling wax is very, one of the most crucial steps. And making sure you just have a really sleek, flat install. It's perfect for creating a sleek, polished look for your wig. And it also helps in controlling flyaways. It provides you with a flexible hold that allows you to shape your hair into different styles. Whether you want a sleek and polished look or soft, bouncy curls, a styling wax can help you achieve just about anything you want with your wig and it keeps it in place. As you can see, I can move my hair about, but it stays in its place and I love that. Only thing that I will say is just be careful you don't use too much because it can weigh your hair down and sometimes it can give you too much of a greasy look depending on the styling wax that you're using or the brand that you're using. As for me, I've tried just about like four, maybe five styling waxes and the Carrot Care Styling Wax has to be top dog especially just having compared it to the previous ones that i've used in the past trust me a styling wax is one of those steps you don't want to skip we cannot talk about styling wax without talking about this next product now you may be able to get away with not using the previous two products that i talked about even though i don't recommend it but you cannot get away with using a hot comb no ma'am no sir a hot comb is essential for straightening and smoothening the roots of your hair a hot comb is probably the one thing that you'll pick up more often than any other product that i'll mention here you need it when you're plucking your wig you need it when you're styling your wig you need it when you have your lace band on you need it at the end just to make sure that everything is in place you need it okay but just make sure you know what you're doing you don't get the cheap ones by cheap i mean anything that really doesn't go up to 400 50 degrees Fahrenheit you're gonna need a hot okay a hot comb to me the Andis one is top performer I haven't tried anything that's more expensive than this compared to regular hot tools it's just about like 20 maybe 25 dollars but there are cheaper ones out there aka the Annie's one if you buy those you're wasting your money anyone who is selling you a $50 hot comb daylight robbery you don't need to be spending that much especially if i only spent 20 dollars on this and i'm able to get my hair as sleek as this yeah you don't need to be spending more than 20 dollars you shouldn't be buying a 75 dollar hot comb for what you'll find it on any hair video that i post this andis hot comb top performer of course it's always safety for make sure you're using it gently and with caution just to avoid any mishaps these next two products i'm going to put together but you need adhesive the first option is lace glue lace glue is a very popular adhesive for wig installation and it creates a really strong bond between your wig and your skin when it's done properly and you can get a really really seamless and natural looking look with the lace glue my top performer for me is the erica j lace glue i got the small one because i hardly ever really need to use lace glue i like switching out my wigs so i don't really use lace glue but if you sweat a lot and you just so happen to watch your wig on for more than a few days and you just want a secure and long lasting wig installation lace glue yeah your best friend an install done very well with lace glue can last upwards of a week i've done it before i think the longest i've done is nine days and i could have kept my wig on for a little bit longer but i was tired who wants to have a wig on for 10 days you know if you're like me however and you like flexibility but you don't want to compromise on the whole lace sprays yeah these will get you there these allow me the freedom and flexibility of taking off my wig at night and just switching it out as many times as i want to trust me if you're a girly like me and you feel like you need a new wig for new outfits lace glues are your best friend and they save your edges so yeah these together are my favorite ever since i started doing it i haven't stopped i feel like what this one can do this one can't and what this one can't do this one can i feel like i get the best seamless hold such as this one when i use these two together they work well in heat they work well in humidity of course you're not going to get as strong of a hold as lace glue but but it's not every time that i want the strength of lace glue honorable mention the fantasia spritz yeah she will give you that ultimate melt trust and believe you can't talk about adhesive without talking about lace bands i feel like i stock up on these because yeah you need them on every single install there are two types of ways that lace bands can be used and both are very important the first way of using it is right after using your adhesive by simply just tying the band around the perimeter of your lace and keeping it melted on for about like 10 minutes sometimes i wait like 15 minutes or sometimes like i say i just wait until i hear that first heartbeat in my head yeah it's time to come off. I prefer the thinner bands as opposed to the thicker bands and these are really good in melting your lace. 
into your skin. The second way of using your lace band is essentially just sewing it into your wig as a strap as that extra protection to really keep your wig in its place so it doesn't move around. And using a lace band in this way can really just prevent your wig from slipping and sliding around your head, especially if you have like a larger head or a very active lifestyle. Using a lace band to keep your wig in place is essential. Sometimes if I feel like my lace band is not tight enough, I basically just pull it in the back and use a rubber band, tie it up, and I feel like that gives me an even better like custom made fit for my wig. The next product you need to get on your next beauty supply run is a dryer brush. A dry brush is a very versatile tool that can be used to dry and style your wig at the same time. It typically has a round barrel and bristles to help detangle and smooth out your hair as you brush it. Or sometimes you can have the paddle brush one. I also use this on my natural hair and this is so good for detangling and drying your hair at the same time. It just cuts down all the work that you have to do in half because by the time you're done drying your hair with this dryer brush, the styling process is so much easier whether you have to straighten your hair or curl it. This just cuts that time that you have to spend doing that in half. When all is said and done, the next important product is a hairspray. You can't do all of that work and not want to keep everything in its place. Hairspray is a styling product that can be used to provide that extra hold and control to your wig. It comes in a variety of strengths, so obviously just pick the one that works best for you. But hairspray can be used to create a wide range of styles. When using hairspray, it's very important that you're using a product that's not going to create like a sticky feel to your hair or a crunchy feel or something that's going to turn white over time. The one that I've been picking up lately is the Sebastian Shaper Spray. By the generic brand. I used to use the original one that I would pick up like a TJ Maxx or Home Goods, but the generic brand works just as good. Even though I've already shown you 10 products, I have to plug you in with the inevitable hot tools. At some point in time, you're gonna need to pick up one of these and I just wanna put you guys on to my favorite straightener and curler at the moment. For sake of just putting you guys on essential products that make a difference in your wig install, my favorite affordable straightener is the Infinity Pro Straightener by Con Air and it has these like rainbow, titanium, metallic, plates. I think this is like the one and three fourths size. I'm not too sure. It'll be down below but but this covers so much surface at a time and, and I'm able to get such a good sleek look with this product and I don't think it's too pricey. Correct me if I'm wrong but I think it's like somewhere between $35 and like $55. Really good compared to compared to my other favorite straightener which is basically just the entire Babyliss line but they're so expensive that I had to put you guys onto this affordable one because it gets the job done. However, I no longer compromise on a curler. This T3 curler is worth every buck. I use the one inch barrels. I like for my curls to be tight and then loosen up over time, but this curler, yeah, it makes, oh, it makes such a difference. Like, I haven't picked up my other curlers since I bought this one. And that says a lot because I have some pretty expensive curlers just sitting there. But that's all for the 10 products that you need as a beginner to body a fire install. You may need a few other products here and there, but these are the ones that you cannot get away with not using. In one variation or another, you're gonna need one of these products and I've put you on my favorite ones. After years of working with clients, making wigs for other people, myself, my mother, my my aunts, my sister. Y'all know I wouldn't lead you astray, okay? So I have to put you guys on. Nonetheless, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and with lots of love, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!